By giving the wrong answer, you actually have more of a problem. Right? Okay, now, anyone have any stiffness anywhere? Say your neck, especially? Well, keep your car type adjustment, right? I don't want to do that, right? So, now, just, just show you your head and see how your neck moves to your head. You want to be able to improve this for everybody, right? You got that? Some of you have the, the discomfort, some of you may have the tightness, some of you may be okay. You may be okay to improve it, right? And that's how you're going to get younger, is because you do whatever you feel okay about. So you got a baseline how it feels, right? right? Now, it's not coming from the neck. It's coming anywhere, but it's coming from the center, okay? Coming from the toxic, coming from your tail that, that you don't know you have. You got your tail sticking out, you don't know you got it. Right? And they bother you to have the tail, they bother you not to have it, okay? So you break all the rules, right? You're not going to use some stupid rules that didn't work. Like conventional thinking, right? You got to think outside the box. Outside the box, so you have a tail on your back, right? It's about four feet long, okay? Now, we're just going to adjust that tail for you. All right, now move your head again and see what it feels like. Well, what's it feel like? I'm here before. Is that an improvement or not? <laughs> if it's not improving, then you need a perception correction. Right? Your perception is too damn slow, that's all, right? It's going to be like tomorrow, who needs it, right? You want it now, right? This is high speed equipment, right? It's time for you to treat like high speed equipment. Not going back to Middle Ages. That slowness is good, right? Useless, right? Slowness is totally useless. Even it takes time, you know? That's a useless statement. In fact, you don't need to be healed. Remember what I said? You waste your time to try to be healed, okay? And when people try to heal you, they already put you at a lower level than they are, right? That's ridiculous, right? You don't need anybody to heal you. There's no such thing, right? I know I have a book called Instant Hearing, but hey, so that was, that was before things changed, right? So now, now Kate, uh, you, how's your neck doing, Kate, uh, to us? Here. Okay, why? Okay, now. We try to the neck. How do your neck feel? Just from that. It's a little better. Um, Only a little bit better? Now, I'll tell you, you can't get pregnant. I mean, a little bit pregnant, okay? Now, oh. you, you feel it right there, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to specifically strengthen that weakness you have on the left side of your table, okay? Your SI joint, right? And also, you have a leg problem. Actually, it's the left leg that bothers you, not your right. See, when, when it goes up to your brain here, it crosses over and confuse you and make you think you have a right leg pop. You really have a left leg pop, okay? So I'm going to correct your left leg with the tube, okay? Now, how's your neck feel to you? Okay, now you say it still hurts, you mean? Is that what you said? Okay, hurt it. See, it bothers you that you hurt someone else, right? You ever hurt anybody in your life? And it bothers you that you did? I'm sure I, huh? I'm sure I have. I think it would bother you if you hurt someone, right? I'm sorry? It would bother you if you hurt someone, right? Oh. Well, let's make it so you hurt anybody you want, it won't bother you, okay? Now, <laughs> yeah, right? now let's go back to the beginning. Now think about hurting someone now. You can't relate to that anymore, right? Yes or no? Mm, yes, I now, move your head and see how that hurting sensation feels. What's that? It's still here. Okay. Now, okay. I'm going to improve your perception. And don't think about it. Okay? Because your thinking already has a negative connotation. In fact, before I just do for you, now, anyone have a negative thinking they, they would like to give it up? That you just can't <coughs> control that stupid negative thinking, right? But you have it, right? So use that as a baseline to get in touch with your negative thing, right? You got that? Because you want to establish a baseline just like engineering, right? And you know it's gone or not in the next few seconds, right? All right, how about now? How's your negative thing? Is it still here? It's gone, got deleted. It's like hitting that delete button in your computer, okay? I'm going to look for it again, right? If you look for it, you can't find it, right? Now, how's your hurting sensation? Huh? Nah, don't give me your slipping thing, okay? Now, you, you said it still hurts, right? 
<laughs> okay, now let's look at that situation, right? If it still hurts, that means it's not really your fault anymore. You want to resolve someone else's fault, okay? Now, let's resolve someone else's fault by your ancestors and your personalities and the collective humanity fault and then the spirit fault and your future generation fault, okay? Now, all those problems that can be right now at this moment, right? Now, how's your name? What's that? Yeah. Okay, you got better, right? So, you should, so, uh, you should be such a busy body, care about other people's problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> but now you, you, you do less of that, right? So you, you get paid from somebody else, right? You don't just have your own pay. You can get paid from someone else. You get paid from your family, paid from people you, you never met. So that's why you got to be invisible. People's pain just go right through you. Otherwise, you go right in and resonate. You resonate with it, that like your molecules and atoms and your cells that have resonated with that energy, okay? That's how things work, right? It doesn't, things doesn't just work like you have a biochemical fault, right? So, most conventional doctors think that you have a biochemical fault. Well, you need to take this drug, and then you go to nutritionist, then you need to take this herb, and take this nutrition, that you have a biochemical fault, right? So you can have a mental problem from the mind, I say, you have to get your mind out of the way, okay? Okay, now the next person has short breath, deserving of attention, because that's what it is. I have a hard time speaking about things in front of people. Okay. I get anxiety. So when you think about speaking in front of people, it affects you, right? Yes. Even thinking about it, right? Yeah, just thinking about it. Okay, all right. Anyone else have that problem? Now, if you can't speak in front of people, you're not going to make any money, okay? It's simple as that. Right? And if you can speak in front of people, even if you don't have anything together, you can make some money, right? Like these motivation speakers, right? They would make money, but they, they just motivate you, and you think that, oh, that's what you need, is just motivation, right? Now, you need more than just motivation, okay? Uh, so the bottom line is that you think about speaking in front of people, it bothers you, right? The rest of you have that, some of you have that problem, okay? Now it's time to take care of it, right? So you make more money, you'll take my class, right? I like to think it's too expensive, it's too stupid, right? But you change your life, and not only that, if you take my class, you will make more money by knowing what to do in a company, right? and people that consult you, all right, you be the expert, and you can write some books, and you can just talk, okay? And a lot of people make a lot of money just talking about nothing, okay? Right? 